India is all set to go to the moon once again. India's Chandrayaan-3, a mission to have a soft landing on the moon, is all set. India will be using the launch vehicle Mark III to send this into space. The Bahubali rocket is a very capable rocket. India had Chandrayaan 1, where India made the startling discovery of the presence of water molecules on the moon surface. There was Chandrayaan 2, which had an orbiter, and the orbiter is still going around the moon. And this is a scaled model of the Chandrayaan series. The orbiter of the Chandrayaan 2 will be used even during Chandrayaan 3. In Chandrayaan 3, there is a propulsion module and the main bit is attempting a soft landing near the south pole of the moon. India has the Vikram lander and the Pragyan rover on Chandrayaan 3. The Vikram lander has been made more robust. The legs have been strengthened. The software has been made more robust. And this will have attempt a soft landing almost at the same spot where Chandrayaan 2 attempted the landing of Vikram. Vikram lander failed in landing on the moon in Chandrayaan 2. In Chandrayaan 3, ISRO has conducted several tests which includes many off-nominal tests to make sure that Vikram has a soft landing. Inside the belly of the Vikram lander, hidden inside is the Pragyan rover. Once it lands on the moon, the Vikram landers will make sure that the ramp opens up and from the ramp the Pragyan rover will come down onto the lunar surface. There are cameras on the Vikram lander, there are cameras on the Pragyan rover and both of them would take selfies of each other. This is a very unique mission and when India does it, it will join a handful of countries which has the capability of soft landing on the celestial body. Chandrayaan-3 is an ambitious mission by India and India and the world are looking towards a successful mission of Chandrayaan-3. When the Pragyan rover rolls out onto the lunar surface, it will leave the imprint of India on the lunar soil. India is attempting to land as close to the south pole of the moon as it can and the region which is being attempted to be landed on I have named Kalam Vihar. It is the region where the moon impact probe of Chandrayaan 1 went and had an impact and that's the place where Vikram lander of Chandrayaan 2 crashed and the third attempt by India to the moon is going to happen in the same area. And why do I call it Kalam Vihar? I call it Kalam Vihar because it was President Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam who requested the Indian Space Research Organization that if you are going to the moon in Chandrayaan 1 as an orbiter, why not send a probe down? That was an important aspect because India placed its flag on the moon. Subsequently, if ever moon resources have to be shared, then India has the rights on that area having landed its flag on the moon. Chandrayaan 1 and subsequently now we have seen India has inked the Artemis Accords. They are all an effort for exploring moon, Mars and beyond. But for now, a successful soft landing of the Vikram lander near the south pole of the moon and then the rolling out of Pragyan rover would be a magical feat by the Indian Space Research Organization. 
a moment to cherish for Indians. I would also be very happy if Chandrayaan 3 succeeds. It's a scientific mission, so there are several scientific instruments, one on the orbiter, some on Vigyan, on the Vikram lander, and some on the Pragyan rover. All of them may give India glory. In Bangalore, Palav Bagla.